for uh, the early part of the holiday as you're heading out to the grocery store through the day. It looks fine for many of these areas, rather warmer than what we've been seeing for the first half of the month of November. Because of this, look at that uh, increase, that lift in the jet stream, I should say. The dip still out to the west, south of the Rockies. That area of low pressure is starting to develop pretty much as we speak. It winds off to the south, bringing in the moisture from the Gulf. With that, there's plenty of water within our atmosphere, creating for some of these soggy conditions. A washout for so many through central Texas off to the east, north Texas. That's where you're on the edge of the cooler weather filtering in with rain in the forecast. That cold filtering in, that eventually is going to turn into some snowflakes. With that, it could be considerable, at least for this area. Of course, the Great Lakes over the last week, they saw five feet of snow, nothing like that but five inches possible in some isolated pockets in these areas. You see along I-40, south along I-27 as well, we could get pretty much a max of five inches. I would say a good widespread total is going to be closer to one to three inches. Also Amarillo getting close to three to five inches as well. So we'll watch where some of the heaviest bands of snow set up. It will be brief for the most part for many of those areas into your Thursday. Initially, though, starting off as rain, so widespread off to the east into Louisiana, down through New Orleans, Mobile, Montgomery, Jackson, Little Rock. It's soggy hour by hour for your Thursday. Friday, maybe a little bit of a lull, especially in the morning hours. That may be good for some Black Friday shopping, but you can see a secondary batch kind of filtering in and through as this area of low pressure slowly gets into motion as it does. So it's a slow mover. So we do have that flash flooding thread with three to five inches possible in some of these areas. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way. So make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.